Now that we're in peak travel season, despite lots of job openings in the travel industry, it's still dealing with some labor shortages. So in today's Wheels Up Wednesday, what we like to call, we're bringing it back for the summer, y'all. We're talking about what it could mean for you and how you can make the most of the options that are out there. That means it could slow things down and be a little bit more expensive for you if you haven't booked your summer vacation just yet. Travel experts say that staffing shortages and high demand could mean that you're going to be paying a little bit more to go on a trip. Have you even looked at flights lately? If you have, they, you've likely noticed they're pretty high just to go to even places like Miami. Okay, can I just get a deal with shortages of air traffic controllers, flight attendants, ground crew and pilots and airliners, airports, they're doing what they can to try to meet the demand here. So in addition to higher prices, other consequences that you may see include canceling flights, delayed flights. Well, to get people in the door, the TSA is offering $5,000 as a signing bonus in addition to what they already offer, their full benefits package, along with the federal retirement plan, just to try to get people to work for the TSA. So what does this mean for you and your summer trip? Well, it means you need to plan ahead. Travel with a carry-on bag, if possible, to avoid lost bags or baggage fees. If Use a tracking device if you have to check a bag. And like the Apple AirTag. You know, we, we had that Southwest meltdown over the holidays. People were like, I can't find my bag. Yeah, that's a great invention. Yeah, so the Apple AirTags really help or some type of tracking device there. Use a credit card that carries travel protections when booking a trip. All advice for you all, guys. <laughs> you are on it, aren't you? I People mean. have said they, like, they're <laughs> told their AirTag, their bag is where it's not. They're looking at their AirTag like, well, my, you know, oh, yeah. why is it in Tahiti when it's uh -huh. supposed to be mm. with me? <laughs>